This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz and we are joined by Jimmy Gomez. He is a member of the California State Assembly. Sir, a few years back I had the really honor to work on a documentary, produce a documentary about the Los Angeles River. I had no idea what a crown jewel it had been. It's been channelized, but there have been efforts over the last decade or so to revitalize it. Mm. Talk to us about the efforts you are engaging in to revitalize that, that resource. First, the LA River, I think, people have to remember that this river, no matter how small, how channelized, gave birth to one of the greatest cities in California, if not the country. The, uh, Los Angeles that started off as a Pueblo that built, uh, grew to over four million people. It was that river that we're um, trying to support today. I introduced AB, 1922 to designate it a greenway mm. uh, along the entire 51 miles so that it would be eligible first define a greenway as a place where you can um, ride a bike go running go kayaking um, all along the la river and then use that river use the uh, definition of greenway to make it eligible for different types of funding so uh, transportation funding as well as AB32 funding. What is the Army Corps of Engineers saying about this? Because they really are the entity that you need to convince in the yeah. final analysis. Yeah, the, they, they have um, released a study that they're gonna um, choose either uh, different recommendations, 13, 16, and 20. Everybody in the city of LA, including myself, per uh, prefers 20. Mm -hmm. But even if we get 13 or 16, they're going to re, um, uh, right, revitalize part of the riv river. Okay. So, and that revitalization is actually uh, habitat re restoration yes. is going to occur between the 134 freeway Not and it. downtown, ah. which most of it's actually in my assembly seat. Nice. So we're going to have, uh, that's going to be the backbone of the development that we're going to be working on. So it's going to, right now we even do kayaking on the river. How yes. many people know that? They, at the same time though, sir, the river was channelized for a reason. Correct. Dramatic flooding. Correct. The images are daunting. Yeah. So how do you balance the need to make sure we don't go back to the days of dramatic flooding with a desire to turn the river into our front yard instead of our backyard? Yeah, one of the things that the Army Corps, um, we wouldn't be doing anything that would jeopardize the, the, the control of the right. of storm water as on a heavy rain. So mm -hmm. that's not gonna happen. And the, uh, the Army Corps of Engineers will determine You're how right. far we can go because they do have a um, uh, jurisdiction over parts of the river, but so does the city of Los Angeles, so does the county, and so does the state. Long Beach. Lo right. Long Beach. So right. we, um, we have our challenges ahead of us, but we're not gonna do anything that's gonna jeopardize the, the surrounding areas. But think of this. If you already have areas, say in my district along Elysian, right. uh, Elysian Valley or what they also right. know as Frogtown, where they're opening up pockets. At pocket the parks. End, pocket parks along the end of the parks. All of a sudden people are buying up the houses on the ends and re, uh, renovating them, making them nicer and then selling them. Why? Because the river, they see the river as an investment, not just for um, you know kayaking or right. biking or running, but actually uh, for building a vibrant community. And you can see this across Cal Los Angeles. I, I know in South Korea, for example, I think it was called the Chichen Chong River or something like that. Yeah. That was completely revitalized. I don't know if I said that name correctly, but there have been revitalizations that have literally transformed communities. Yeah, no, th and this is the way I kind of see the mm -hmm. LA River. I first started working on this when I worked for Mike Fuhr when he was a city council member on the, uh, in the Valley, uh, representing the city of city. Sure. So this is a process that's been going on for a long time, but we're also building parks along the river. A good example is the LA State Historic Park, right. which will be connected to the river. What about retail? Retail, that, that's also in, in the works. Right now, they're uh, trying to figure out what um, is possible along the river. Uh, I think anything that's um, zoned commercial is, is a possibility. His name is Jimmy Gomez. He is a member of the California State Assembly. If you want to learn more about river revitalization, you go to LARiver.org. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and this is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.